Hey, hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This is Reflex Image. I'm using this medium to wish you guys a happy new year, more success in your business this year. And also, I want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel, for liking my videos, for reposting my videos, for sharing my videos, and also commenting on them. So, this year, I'm putting in more effort to create meaningful content for you guys content that you will learn from and also enjoy which will be very very easy for you to use and also free file included just as just as i always do so i'll be giving you guys free file also so there will be premium ones for you guys to buy also you can also do it to patronize me well this year so with no further ado let's jump into action so here's what we want to achieve or something similar to this uh here's the here's the before here's the before this is when I this is what I did after I removed the blemishes from the background. I cleaned the background. This picture was, was taken with Canon 60D, two light setup, Godos SK300 and Godos AD200. So here is what I'm going to be doing right now. I will be doing I won't be removing the background for you guys because I've already done all that. It's going to take a long process and there are lots of videos on that. For you guys to learn from on my channel on how to remove background perfectly, how to remove blemishes from background, how to remove your model from the background, so on and so forth. What I'll just be doing here is object placement and picture color grading. So I'll be doing the placement and color grading. As you can see right now, I already removed everything perfectly fine. The model is perfectly removed. As you can see right now. So here is my model layer as you can see. Since I turned it off, that's why we have something like this. So here's my model layer and everything is perfectly placed. So all we just need to be bringing in now is the files we'll be using for our manipulation. So firstly, I'll be using an overlay. So I'll go to my file manager where it's located. So I'll look for it. So once I see it, I'll just have to drag it into Photoshop. So here's the first overlay I'll be making use of. I can use either of these two, but I want to go in with this one. I have to drag it to my Photoshop. Wait for it to load. Wait for it to load. Once I see the object placement is okay, I just have to click on OK. The reason why it's covering all the images is that I place it above all other things and it's supposed to be below uh, my image layer. So I'm going to place it be below my model all over here. So here's my model and here's the background and stuff. So it's perfectly okay right now, but I don't use my overlays like this. I love using them on soft light. So I'll change the blend mode from normal and then I'll change it to change it to soft light. You can see right now. So that our initial background will be showing out for us. You can see right now. So I'll just have to blow the background I just brought in right now a little bit. So I'll click on it, then I'll go to my filter. In that filter I'll go to blow, then I'll click on Gaussian Block. So wait for it to load up. Okay, it's point is okay for me. And I'll click on my OK. So the next thing I'll be bringing in now, I'll just have to go back to my file manager again. So let's see what we'll be bringing in this time around. Okay, let me bring in this max. So let's start the object placement right now. So I'll go to my file manager. I'll go to where the PNG files are located. So I'll look for the mat I want to be using, which is this. Just have to drag into my Photoshop again. Drag into my Photoshop. Then I'll reduce the size, adjust the size until I see if it's just the size. Okay, it's okay for me this way, but it's a little bit too bright for my liking, so I'll just click on Ctrl M and I'll bring down the brightness a little bit. You can see, so I'll just have to reduce the opacity a little bit so that the background will reflect on the picture a little bit too. So I'll just bring the opacity down, 77 is okay. And I'll click on my OK. So I'll be bringing in another file now, which is this, which is this wooden material I have over here. So I'll still go back to my file manager again. Go back to my file manager. Then I'll search for where it's located. I'll look for it. If you're interested in getting all these files, they're available. There are lots more of them. I have over 300 of them right now, so you can actually get them. And upgrade your picture editing with them. So here's the wooden material we'll be making use of. I just have to drag it into my Photoshop. 
So I'll adjust it till I see fit. Adjust it. I'll adjust it till I'm satisfied with what I have. So I'll just have to click on my OK right now. As you can see right now, but it's not giving us the shadow we need. So we are going to work on that later on. But this time around, the brightness is too much. Let's just reduce the brightness just as we did the mat. Just have to click on our Ctrl M. Let's drag to the side so I can see what we are doing. So we'll bring the brightness down. You can see right now. We'll click on our OK. But there's something different from this on this particular one than the first one, which is this. It's having two different colors. And this is only giving us a just a particular color. So we are just going to amend that also. So what to do that we we'll create an empty new layer. We'll go to our color palette over here, our color picker over here. So we'll click on it. Firstly, I'll be using my yellow color. I'll click on my yellow. I'll make sure my brush is on. Click, then I'll go to my brush, make sure the pass is 100. Then I'll increase the brush size. Then I'll brush over this area with yellow. So I'll change the color this time around to red again. I'll click on it. I'll come over this side with the red. You can see right now. So all I just have to do now is just to clip it with uh, the tree, with the wood I just brought in. So if I'm to right click on it right now, create a clipping marks, you can see, it's only going to affect what we brought in. But it's not giving us all what we need, it's just giving us static color. It's not giving us the wooden material that's below. So we just have to change the blend mode now. Let's see the blend mode that will go with it. You can keep testing your blend mode till you see the one that will go with it. But I, I usually use Mostly I do use soft lights or I use my color. So I can use any of the two, but I'll go with soft light this time around. I'll click on OK. And I'll just have to bring down the opacity a little bit. As you can see right now. I think we did perfectly what we say we do. So the next thing we'll do now, because we can't create our shadow right now. It will be very difficult for us to create a shadow right now. And also if you want to learn how to create a shadow, a realistic shadow for objects. Something like this, want to create a shadow for it. There's a video course on that. You can actually just go to my store and get them there. So we just want to create we want to cover up this our mistake. We have why we can just call it mistake. But if not a photographer, fellow photographer like us, people might not know that. So we just want to clean it off, want to hide it so that people won't find out that we did something off over here. So we just want to make sure it blends in perfectly. So we'll bring in another object to cover to cover up this place. So I just have to go to my file manager again. So I'll look for a PNG file that, can, that will go away with there. So let me look for a PNG file. As you all know, I love using a particular box. So let me go there and pick up the box. Let me see if I still have them over here. So I can decide to use any of these. Or I can go with another particular one that I love using the most. Let me see if I still have them over here. Okay, let me choose another one. I'm not seeing what I'm looking for right now. Okay, here is it. Just have to drag it to my Photoshop this time around again. You can see. Just increase the size. I'll click on OK. But this time around, it has to be on the model. I'll drag it at the top. Then I'll adjust it. So that it will seem as if it's on the floor. The way we have it over here. So. We've done perfectly what we promised to do. So the next step is color grading. When you're doing a manipulation, you need to know how to color grade your picture perfectly. Without the right color grading process, the manipulation would look nice. The color of the background and the picture has to blend in perfectly so that someone cannot tell the difference if the picture has been manipulated or the picture was actually taken there. So I'll be using my laws I shall usually do to color grade this picture from A to Z. So with no further ado, let's jump into that. If you're interested in getting any of my loot pack, my preset pack, they're also available for sale. And they're very, very easy to use. Just a click away and you'll get a picture color graded perfectly. So firstly, let's add a little bit of vintage to this our picture. So here's the way I do my vintage right now. So I'll just click, long click on this. Then I'll pick up my Epica Mark Quick 2. So I'll hold down my shift key. I'll make a circle around my model. A very big circle around that which is around there, it's okay for me. Then I'll invert my selection, Ctrl, Shift and I. 
and I'll go to my adjustment via here. I'll click on it. I'll click on solid color, fill it with black. So under the property, under the max, I'm going to increase the blow. I want to blow out this my max I have over here. So I'll be doing that under the property, as you can see right now. So I'm going to feather it. I'll be using about 600 or so. As you can see right now. So we already had a little bit of vintage to it, but the picture is looking all that dark. So we just have to reduce the opacity. We'll be using 30 for our opacity. You can see. So if I'm to turn this off right now, you can see the before and after. So it adds a little bit of vintage to our picture for us. So the next thing we have to do now is just to pick in our loot. There's a particular loot I love using the most, which is my chocolate color. So that's what I'll be using right now also. So I'm color grading everything all together. The, the lots work for both the skin and also the background together. It's going to give us a little bit of a low light image. So I just have to go back to my adjustment layer. Now click on my load color lookup. Then I'll click on load 3D loads. Now scroll down, look for where it's located, and I'll click on it. As you can see, boom. Automatically, it created a low light image for us, just as we promised. So let's see if you have something similar. As you can see right now, it's 9% it's similar to what we actually promised to do. The only difference is that our model skin is a little bit, it's glowing right now. But the reason why the model picture is this way that I'm yet to retouch this particular picture, which is, is already made. I've retouched, I've done everything, I've removed the blemishes. So that's all for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And also turn on the notification icon. If you have any questions, you can contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you guys on my next tutorial. One love.